Welcome back, gang, gang. This is going to be a quick message, um, well, quick reading, because the most High told me somebody is really in despair, because I heard DMX say, Lord, send me a sign. You wanted a sign, I'm going to send you one. Four cups, you need to hold back. I feel like somebody might be teeter-tottering on whether they should stay at a job or mess with a person or something. The most High said, leave it where it's at. Ain't nothing going to change from this person. Like, you're going to continue to offer... You're going to continue to pour more into something than it's going to pour back into you. Um, and then when this person or this job does pour into you, it's small. Like four cups. It keeps you away from your family as well. Or maybe it's putting stress or burden on your family. And as I said, that look will come out. This situation, you, you wanted to sign the most I said leave. Four cups back on the bottom. You need to really leave this situation or this person alone. The wheel car, that's in reverse. Ain't no movement. You're going to be stuck. You're going to be stagnant. Ain't shit going to come from this. Somebody was probably staying stuck because of religion or because it, it was instilled in them to not to leave their family. Somebody said, I was told as a man to never cry. Work till you tired. You have to provide. No, you don't. You do not have to take, it's no, you're not, you're only obligated to take care of your children. You are not obligated to take care of the mother or the father of your kids. And if anybody that told you that and pushed you into staying in a situation, a toxic, unhealthy situation, they never loved you from, from the beginning and they don't give two fucks about you. I don't give a fuck if it's your mammy, your daddy, your grandmammy, or your granddaddy that done told you to stay in a stupid-ass, unhealthy, toxic-ass situation. Ain't shit gonna change. Especially if you done been with this person for more than a year. This is this person. All you doing is making yourself bitter and toxic. You're gonna make you're gonna make yourself hate the world. You're gonna make yourself hate love when that when in actuality it was fake love that you was binding yourself to. Something that was demonic, something that wasn't of the most high. This is not for you. People will hang on to something that is detrimental to their health, their mental and everything, and then want to speak on it when it was you alone that was keeping yourself stuck due to religious belief or family members fuck that life is too short only you get to live your life you was looking for a sign leave walk to your motherfucking head get small think about yourself think about your health and your peace think about your mind state or are you truly happy where you are at if the answer is no then you need to walk the fuck away i don't give a fuck what it is when you walk away, you have faith in the most high. That means you do not ever look back at what the fuck you walked away from. You walked away from it for a reason because it wasn't serving you. It was holding you down. It was stopping you from growing. It was keeping you away from your motherfucking abundance, your purpose. We ain't about to stay away from none of that shit no more. Fuck all that. If it ain't bringing you happiness, peace, joy, if it's not respecting you, you cut that shit out. I don't give a fuck who it is. Cut it out like gum in your hair. Cut the shit out like a coupon that you about to go use for your food. Cut that shit out. Like a part that you don't want in the movie. Cut the shit out like it's a blooper. You feel me? Cut the shit out. Because this is what you're put here for. You're not put here on this earth to be sad, miserable, or to struggle. It is your environment and it is the mindset that, that you keep. We as people must know the company that we keep influence our mind. You are surrounded, whoever you are, you are surrounded by toxic ass people. You do not have not one person that is pure. In your facility, in your environment, no one. You have takers. And then when they come to give you, they give you little. This is all you surrounded by. You got to elevate and grow. You got to, God damn. You got to leave this situation. And once you leave, they will get justice. As I said, you have to leave this situation to get a new. You have to. And when you leave this situation, this job or whatever, they're going to get their ass whooped. They stopping you from manifesting. They are holding you up. Somebody is looking for change and it ain't going to come. Change starts within yourself. You cannot control these people. You keep offering them shit and they taking what the fuck you giving them. It's like somebody, it's like you building a foundation and they taking your bricks and laying them elsewhere. 
Like somebody, look, spirit said, hold off from this person, this job, this situation ship. And some of you could be staying because you got children with people. Leave them the fuck alone. Y'all are really like, I can't believe like this. I, I just don't get it, y'all. I really do not get how you can stay somewhere where you're not happy. That is pure insanity. You a mental patient. I understand now. You a mental patient. That's what that is. You a mental patient. Some people like this. Some people like to be felt needed. Somebody dealing with somebody who's too goddamn codependent. One thing about me is I don't like to be codependent. I feel like once I get put in a situation, like I don't have my own place, so I have to stay with somebody. That's a codependent. That shit really makes me feel... it. I, it don't let me, I mean, I don't allow it to lower my vibration. But that shit really did get to me. Because I don't like to be codependent. I like to have my own everything. I like to take care of myself. Like, I don't like that shit. And whoever you're dealing with or, or whatever you're dealing with, it depends solely on you. That is sad. Put all this weight and burdens on you and now you about to break. The most I said, no, the fuck you not. And the most I said, if you don't choose to walk away and I have to step in. To make you walk away, I'm going to light your ass up too. Didn't I? I felt it. The most high going to light your ass up too. And some of y'all, the most high is lighting you up by making you stay with this person. Or stay at this job. Stay at this situation. And the most high removed your strength. And if you do have the courage or the strength to walk away, the most high is going to carry you. Somebody said when times get hard, man, the most high don't walk. The most high carry me, man. You can get carried. Like, you dealing with somebody that don't want you to move or begin something new. Somebody is sorry as fuck. Somebody lazy. Like, somebody lay in the bed on the couch all day stinky. Oh, they about to be in for a rude awakening because whatever life that they thought they was living, they, they ain't about to get it no more. Four plus six is ten. That's an ending. Somebody gonna have to fend for themselves. And some of them be using techniques like, well, I'm the mother of your kid. I need no. The Most High said, if you allow that tactic to get your ass one more time, I'm going to fuck you up. The Most High said, it don't matter if you've been with somebody because it was 719. It don't matter if you've been with somebody for seven years, nine years. It don't matter if you got a family. Some of y'all scared to move or get a divorce because you thinking about your money or you think about all the shit going to happen if you leave. The Most High said, don't worry about that. You think that bitch, some of y'all talking about, well, I don't want to leave her because she crazy. If you think for a second she crazy to you, he or she is crazy to you, you're not protecting the person you're staying away from because that person can protect themselves. I wish the fuck I would be dealing with a dude and his baby mama or his ex thinks she gonna pop up in his house. You, you, right plan, wrong bitch. Right plan, wrong bitch, because I'm with the shits. If you think that I'm gonna stop messing with the dude because you keep popping up, no, you're gonna pop up and then pop up, guess who, bitch, ding dong, I'm gonna dot that motherfucking eye. Because that's the only way you're gonna get a ring on your finger is when you touch that goddamn doorbell. Do not let nobody scare, because I did this. Y'all be y'all be thinking that y'all will choose like you don't make no choice or make no decision for nobody. Oh well, I chose to stay away because she crazy, bitch. I'm crazy too. What's up? See, she mental patient crazy, meaning dumb, dumb, diddy. I'm crazy like I call my goddamn ancestors over there, and we all us around her ass and beat her ass like beat her ass with canned goods and socks. That's what type of crazy I'm on. So don't be thinking you saving somebody. Move towards that person. Oh, it's gonna charge. It's, it's gonna cost me a lot of money to get a divorce. I mean, it's cheaper to keep her. No, the fuck it ain't. Your mental health is, health is ain't no price on that. Joy, peace ain't no price on that. If you was in a marriage and you met somebody, or you were dealing with somebody and you met somebody that brought life to you, that made you feel like you was on top of the world, why the fuck would you stay away from that? I would gravitate towards that baby. Because I've been in distress and been, been sad long enough. I want to be happy. If you get with somebody or get with a job and you instantly get a surge of good energy, you need to hang on to that. The most high didn't place that in your life for you just to feel it for a little bit. The most high placed shit in your life for a long time. Not for a short time. Some of y'all feel like, I can't get the job because of this. I can't get the girl or the guy because of this. Why would they pick me? Why would they not pick you? See, you've been dealing with shit that ain't been serving you, that's been tearing you down. So you don't think that you can get certain shit. 
you degrading yourself because of an energy that is degrading you and because they're degrading their self. They don't got shit. They're not coming with nothing. If you a man, you deserve a woman to take care of you. Pay bills as well. If you if you and you and that woman decided not to, then that's cool beans. But if you are a man that's sick and tired of a woman depending on you, or you sick and tired of doing everything on your own, you deserve a woman that's going to take care of you. It's a lot of women out there. Do not let the statistics tell you otherwise. They're single and probably still building their damn stability. They're not out in the streets or in the club. If you do catch them out there because they don't work all week and they want to turn up, it's an occasion. It's a reason. They're not just out there because Lil Dirt came. They they can get two fucks about Lil Dirt. The dirt that they worried about is growing. Their, I mean, growing in their backyard, their garden. You deserve to be loved. If I was in a relationship and I was because people like you try and give it, I'm giving you advice because. I'm not forcing you, but what I'm telling you is not going to hinder you. You do not give people chance after chance to keep fucking you over. Once is good enough. Now, for those of you who give people a second chance, cool beans. But once you get past that number two, your ass is dumb. You do not des- you do not know your worth and you do not know what the fuck you deserve. Nobody deserves to be treated like motherfucking black licorice. And for those of you who like that shit, ill. Nobody deserves to get treated like candy corn. Candy corn is, is, is seasonal candy. Bitch, you blow pops. Bitch, you the pink starburst. You feel me? You the big kahuna. You the big balls. Bitch, you big dude. Big boy. You feel what I'm saying? You allowing these people to treat you like you the goddamn... The uh, candy corn, like shit, I, like I can't even think of bad stuff. All I can think about is good stuff. You, like you, the rainbow. You feel me? You the sun after the storm. You feel me? You the water after you done ran that mile. You feel me? Like I can't think of good stuff. You the rose that rose from the concrete. You feel me? It was you the flowers that the Hispanic lady brought in the winter time for the Hispanics. You feel me? M- Mary Guadalupe, don't play with me. I mean, Mother Guadalupe, I said, Mary. <laughs> you get the fucking picture. Like Cody. You get the picture. Gravitate the most high places stuff in your life so you can see what you deserve so you can get away from this. If you are in this energy and something comes along and it's good, it's not too good to be true. The most high purposely did that. So you can get away. Here's your chance to break free. You scared about the gun? Tell him about the gun line, boss. You scared. Jack line, jack line. You better take your ass out there and run. Because ain't nobody going to shoot your ass in the back. You already got knives in it. The most high is going to take these knives from about your back. And as soon as you start running towards that gun line, and you pass the gun line, you're going to feel free. And you're going to, I was running. You're going to turn into Forrest Gump. You're going to keep on running. And you're not running away from nothing. But pain, misery, lies, deceit, deception. And you're running towards happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance. Everything that the Most High promised you. Y'all be crying on y'all knees. Most High, please, I won't. And then when the Most High give it to you, you be scared. You don't know how to take it or you run from it. The Most High says, stop doing that. Stop. Whether you're male or female. You deserve to have it all. Oh, I, I, I've been married the most high. I wouldn't know the devil made you marry a fucking karmic. This is how you know you're dealing with a karmic. If you were supposed to marry that person, the most high would not see it, would not be blowing these people or these jobs in your front yard, would not be blowing them into your lap. This is how you know you're married to a karmic because you will pray for everything and then that woman or that person to show up. Exactly everything that you wanted. That's not a coincidence. That's the most high giving you what you deserve, giving you what you prayed for. If you were in a marriage and that woman, if that woman or man was yours, the most high would not put that in. That's temptation. The most high not going to tempt you. The most high would test you. It's not a test for you to, to oh, I'm going to cheat on my wife. I'm cheating on my husband. No, it's a test to see if you going to wake up and see that you deserve better. This is your better. Most of y'all are married to karmics. You can't be no boss dealing with no bitch that's not a boss. The most I said, you asked, I felt this. The most I said, you asked for it and I gave it to you. Quick and swift. You don't even want it. The most I said, don't ask me for shit else. And I know y'all like, no, the most I, I'm telling you. The, 
this is something like a divine union. Somebody prayed and the most high sent they motherfucking twin flame or divine counterpart. They split soul. The most high is upset. Because you called out for this. And then you had the most high disturb this empress or this emperor to come towards you. You probably done put this empress or this emperor in some type of energy. Where you was feeling them and now you're not feeling them. But being that they are a god or a goddess, they probably done, they, they done walked away. They don't give a fuck, but they felt some type of way. These people still have feelings. These are gods and goddesses. You awaken their spirit. They know. They know. These people know who their divine counterpart is. But you scary. The Most High said, don't ask me for shit else. And when the Most High hit you with that, don't ask me for shit else, that means you're going to be stuck with whoever you with. You're not happy. Men, if she not making your packing your goddamn lunch, she not sucking no dick, she not giving up no pussy, she's not out here shutting her motherfucking lips up and letting her top meet her bottom, she's not giving you gifts, treating you, throw that bitch, give her to where the fuck she belong, the goddamn streets. Thursday, Friday, Wednesday, wherever the fuck the trash come. Put that bitch out to the goddamn curb. Put that nigga out. You deserve love. You deserve to be treated. That's why I can't wait till I get my emperor. My emperor ain't got to worry about shit. He ain't got to worry about, about he don't got to worry about me being in niggas' faces because I don't be in niggas' faces while I'm single. I don't give a fuck about no nigga except for my nigga and I'm single. He ain't got to worry about me lying, cheating. I'm honest. Oh, babe, a dude tried to talk to me today. Now, if he tell me I don't want to hear about that, I, then I stop. But I'm not telling him to make him have low self-esteem. I'm telling him so he ain't got to hear from the next person. My my emperor ain't gonna have to worry about where the fuck he stand with me. He gonna know. Leos they love hard, and we shower our people with gifts, abundance, anything. 